welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a flip of my December setup. I just posted my November setup a little too late a few days ago, so if you guys want to check that out, I will link it in the cards right now. But as I've mentioned in that video, I was going to set up my December right after I filmed, so, and I did, but as far as filming the video, I'm basically just like filming two days later because it just didn't work out with my schedule. So anyway, I am back in my gold A6 Campania. It is, as you can see, it's like very much well loved. I got this pre-loved from somebody on Instagram. I totally forgot from who, but uh, I've been looking for this cover for a while, so here it is. I am going to be switching sizes for 2022, but I think I'm just going to keep this one just in case I want to go back to A6, so I will not be selling this baby. Not quite yet. So, if you guys can see here, my theme is holiday, Christmas, slash a little dash of Taylor Swift. I am very obsessed with the song All Too Well, the 10-minute version that came out when she released the red Taylor's version. So, I wanted to incorporate that and also like last year... When she released Evermore, I think Evermore is probably my favorite Taylor Swift album of all time because it's just so, it's very mature and she's not really into the, you know, talking, like, making songs about, like, her love life anymore. It's, like, more made up slash, like, it's still a little bit, like, bits and pieces of herself, but not, you know, focusing on, like, herself more. So I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so I just wanted to incorporate that in some of my dashboards. But for the most part, this is mostly a Christmas themed planner. So I finally found a <laughs> use for these pockets because I never know what to put in these pockets. So I have these freebies from Hey Planner Girl. I can't even pull them out because I have actually never used them. So this is the Christmas countdown. I think there is like eight cards total, but I, obviously there's only four slots in these pockets. So there's like a holiday bucket list, a holiday checklist, which I haven't written anything on there yet, but I intend to. And I'm trying to make this pretty. And then a holiday movie marathon list. So yeah, I'm glad that these came out because they finally have something in my pockets that's related to a theme. I have my sticky notes, my vaccine card, and then some usual stuff on here. The contents of the pocket hasn't really changed. Next, I have this sash from my minimal planner. I printed it on parchment paper and I printed it a little too small for A6 so instead of punching it I just decided to like put it on the front which is the opening view of my planner. I have this ollie clip right here. I changed my zig dot marker from gray to this fawn color and here it is. So if you guys recognize this song, Tis the Damn Season, it is from Evermore. So I printed it on vellum and I made this dashboard on Canva. It is the famous red scarf. I don't really know if this is what the actual scarf looks like or if there's actually a little scarf, if, the, if there's actually a scarf. So yeah, we will never know. But anyway, I decided to put this on here just a little bit of symbolism for the song. I have this clip right here from Kubo and Lucy and then same as my planner charm also from Kubo and Lucy going for the winter vibes right here. This is a dashboard that I found or a digital that I found on Canva so I just printed it on whatchamacallit paper. I have no idea what paper I'm talking about, but it's this paper right here. It is the, I'll get back to it. I know what I'm talking about. I know I know you guys what I mean when I'm talking about. This is cardstock, but it's the uh, linen, I think, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I 
have my usual calendar right here. This is just a acetate with foil on it. So just flipping through my usual stuff. This is a clear dashboard with these like florals from Cat's Plus Co. It's a pretty popular item and I really like this so much. And then Hey Planner Girl also came out with a cozy bundle which has table contents, section covers and stuff and that's what I have going on in this planner. So this is the table of contents. My contents have not changed but in response to the theme I just wanted to put that on there. So I still have my dividers from Shop Greasy Edits. Four sections and now this is the one of the section covers. I printed it on vellum this time. And then I have this dashboard. This is from it's I've had this last year. Uh, it's some someone from Instagram. I for the life of me have forgotten her name. I am um, she's not as active anymore, but I will link her down below. She released these like mood boards all the time before so she released these Christmas ones and I used them last year and I didn't throw them away obviously so I just wanted to use them again and this is from Hey Planner Girl this is part of her dark forest theme bundle and I just wanted to use these ones it's actually a section cover you can fill out what section cover or I mean what section you want on here but I just used it for the actual like graphic design. And then this dashboard I made, Champagne Problems, is probably my favorite Taylor Swift song of all time. I did my Apple Music like review, it's kind of like the Spotify wrapped, and this is like my most listened to song of 2021. <laughs> and I am not surprised because I do listen to this on repeat on most days. It's just really a sad, sad song, but very, very powerful as far as lyric wise. I have my inbox first. I still have these inserts from SM Plans. These inserts from Paper Test Designs. This right here is a Christmas dashboard. This is from XO Carolyn Designs. I also had this from last year, I'm just recycling my dashboards. This is a winter bucket list from Paper Test Designs. This is included in her Christmas planner. And some gift list. This is from May Paper Co. And then I have the gift planner. I have this little sticky from Avery to just mark this off as the gift planner so I can easily go through it. This is from Paper Test Designs. Some recipes, notes. This is from Pen and Paper Plans. It's a freebie in her Instagram, and it's just a ho 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 dashboard. This is from Lucy Plans Life. Next is my home section, another dashboard. Hey, Planner Girl. This is another dashboard that I made with Taylor Swift lyrics. This is the song Illicit Affairs from Folklore. Some stickies. This is from Tool and Twine Co. I've had this for a while. I believe this is a freebie with my order. Or actually ordered this maybe. I forgot but this this I ordered this way back last year. I have my spending rules. Bell tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. Order tracker from Simple and Trendy Co. Some notes about my planning system, cleaning routine, other routine, task manager insert from Paper Tests, more action tracker stuff from Paper Tests also. And these are the other cards that I was referring to from Hey Planner Girl, so I just stuck them on here. Just like really cute deco cards for the holidays. This one. It's a pretty, it's constant in my planner and that's never going to go away because I really need these two reminders. <laughs> this is another dashboard that I made or I got from Canva. And then next is my plan section. Another dashboard. I love this so much. I think this is my favorite out of all of them because it just has like hot cocoa, candles, like it's just so cozy. 
And then I have another dashboard lyric, lyric dashboard. This is from All Too Well, and I think out of, there's so many quotable lines from that song, but this is one of the ones that I like the most. I like to be my old self again, but I'm still trying to find it. It's just so sad. And then I have my monthly, still from Paper Tests. It's my cut, it's the custom made one where it's the horizontal month review and then my to do's. This is a dashboard I made on Canva. I have my December habit tracker and mood tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. Symptom tracker. Another freebie from Pen and Paper Plans. This is from Paper Test and Planning with Allo. And then my weeklies. So my weeklies I am currently using Infinite Lotus. It is the week on one page. I've had this customized to have a Sunday start um, and I've had this for a while. I think I've only used it like for a month or something but I wanted to bring it back up again because it has just like the overview of the week and some to-dos, priorities, and then some space for notes. Page 5 dashboard from Point Hun. And then I just have some like random notes on here that is stuck to this weekly dashboard. This is from di Divider Dashboard from Shop Crazy Edits as well. So this is the week when it's empty. And then this one is all the other part of the paper test design slash planning with Allo Collab and I'm using it as a one line a day and like to record like memories and stuff for the end of the month. This is another dash from XO Carolyn Designs. And then I switched my laminate to this one. It's a winter theme. This is from Aloe's Creative Corner. And then this one I didn't change. This is the exact same for my November setup. This is from Virgo Witch. And then this is from Wildman Paper Co. And then I have this dashboard that I made on Canva again. And it has the lyric, lyrics from the song Cardigan from Folklore. And my dailies. So my dailies are these freebies from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's the other version where it doesn't have the times on the side. This is what it looks like blank. And that's what I've been using. Some events, rapid log to do. I actually came up with this dividing. Like, I divided the insert into four sections. Let me show you. I started on Sunday. Or, well, I guess I kind of started right here too. But this is what it looks like when it's, you know, set up. So I have my events right here, or big to-dos, and then right here are my actual to-dos, and here is a rapid log and expenses. So rapid log I've learned from Raya Journals and from Lindsay Scribbles, both on YouTube and both on Instagram, and it's just basically like writing whatever. So what happened like during the day, either a memory or a reminder or something that I need to reference to later on. So I did call a dermatologist today and I made an appointment at the Biltmore office just so I remember where I actually made the appointment. And then my siblings and I and my cousins are talking about what to give my grandma for Christmas. So I wrote that down just so I have a little reminder. So that's pretty much how it's set up. And then I also set up like the next few days right here. And I like these highlighters. I got them from Etsy. And the colors are just, you know, they're pastel slash neutral colors. And the best thing about that is they match with these stickers. These are stickers that I got from AliExpress and you can get them in like rolls. And honestly, like I'm pretty sure I have a lifetime supply because I bought all the colors and I'm still trying to go through them. But if you can see, I tried to match the highlighter and the sticker. So I have a purple highlighter and I have the purple stickers. And here I have the brown stickers and the brown highlighters. So it worked out very well and I'm glad that it um, coordinates because I like color coordinating. So yeah, I try to keep my planner set up minimal as I can, but I still like a pop of color in my planner. So yeah. So here, like I said, I did put in the entire month on here. I am just using this date stamp from Amazon, and I just write down what the date is, like I handwrite it. 
And then this is the end of the month. And I have this clear dash from Espresso Co. I have this dashboard that I made. It is from Canva and I use the song like All Too Well, but since All Too Well is such a sad song, I use it to make into like a positive thing instead. So I wrote down, I remember All Too Well and then the best things in 2021, like best memories. So at the end of the year, I will be writing stuff down here and just to kind of have like something memory keeping wise in my planner. And then next is my future section, some stickies. And then this is still the same future log from Simple and Trendy Co. I should have something on here for 2022 actually, but instead I'm just writing those down on my phone for now. But I do have a plan on how to have like something more advanced in my next setup for January, which I will show you guys when we come to that. And then last is my adulting section. And then this is a, this is the dashboard that comes with a Hey Planner Girl freebie bundle. It's a warm and cozy bundle. So it's just like printed on linen paper, linen paper. I think it's linen paper. That's the paper that I remember. Actually, let me just freaking get it. It is, it is linen cardstock paper. <laughs> it's 80 pounds. I got this from Amazon and that's what I've been using to print most of my dashboards. So. Yes, I was right. It was linen paper. Probably said something else I don't remember now, but yeah, that's the paper that I was talking about. Uh, another Hey Planner Curl, and then my last Taylor Swift dashboard. This is from the song August from Folklore. And then I have my adult reoccurring tasks. And then these are like work stuff, which I've shown you guys a million times because it has not changed. And then I keep a bit of these note papers from Coffin Paper. It's from the notepad, but it fits in the A6 perfectly. So I punched some of those. And more memo inserts also from Coffin Paper. And I have this pocket from Daiso. Just a note from my partner and some cutesy lovey-dovey things. And my page lifter as usual from Foxy Fix. And I have my Sarasa Grand, this is another color. This is like a dark brown color and it comes, I think with dark brown ink, I think, but I did switch it to my pen slash ink that I've been using. I have, I was using the Sarasa Dry Point 4, but I did realize that this fits like the ink from this pen, the Uniball Signo 0.38. So that's what I've been using in this pen. And it's not as quick dry as Sarasa Dry, but, it's pretty close, so that's what I've been using. I just want a really thin pen, and I wish Sarasa Dry would come out with a 0.38 because like that would probably pin piece for me, and they still would not heed my request. So until then, I will be using the 0.38. And then in my pockets, just usual crap. Nothing really has changed, like I said. And there it is. So yeah, like my Julio is just like so loved, and I loved it. I love it so much. It just shows that it's very well used. So that is it for the video. I did do my nails to match my theme, of course, and also match really like the holiday. I wanted to go with a minimal slash like neutral color, but make it Christmas. So I have like an ornament and some snowflakes and then right here a Christmas tree and more snowflakes. My nail lady did awesome. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. How are you guys setting up your planners for the holidays? If you're doing a theme, if you are like, can you tag me or tag me on Instagram or link your planner video on the comments because I want to watch all the fun holiday things. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.